Hi everyone, so today we are going to talk about Stack Overflow Survey and we are going to find out what is there for Indian developers like what are the technologies to focus, what are the areas where you can focus and you can grow your career. So there are lots of uh, segments in the tech or Stack Overflow Survey like what is leading in the technical domain, what is the framework you can look for, what are the technologies for the backend development, what is changing in the cloud, what are the popular cloud framework, all those things we are going to see and that will decide like if you are if you want to grow and uh, if you are learning particular thing, if that is popular then that's a good thing. So we'll try to understand like what the Stack Overflow survey tells about all the tech stack we are using in the current domain. Okay, these kind of surveys are done worldwide and you can see the top 10 countries which are involved in the survey like USA, Germany, India, UK, Ukraine, Canada, France. And you can you, we should be able to see the overall trend uh, across the planet like what is the popular framework, what is the popular backend technologies which are evolving and what is something which is more appreciated by the developers. So all those things we can just take a look into in, in a simple summary like what all these things are happening. So you can see 62.3 have used JavaScript in past year. I mean, that's a very big number and that's a good news for JavaScript developers like, like because JavaScript ecosystem is very huge and it is evolving day by day and lots of developers are getting added. So the opportunities in JavaScript domain are, are huge. So this is the stack for programming and scripting in a markup language like what is the trend and here we can see the top trend like javascript uh, is on the top html css basic programming python sql typescript and uh, shell and uh, java so you can see like uh, what is the programming language which is the most popular across 62.3 percent this is even higher than the last year survey now these are just uh, three different categories like professional developers learning to code and other coders even for the new developers who want to learn programming, always focuses mostly on the web development, JavaScript stacks and all. So the people who are moving into other stack like Java, Python, yes, there is a quite a number. But when it compares to JavaScript, that's not that huge. Now coming to the database. Database, I mean the PostgreSQL uh, from the developer survey when 33% were reporting using it. Now it's a popular database which is being used I and mean, when it comes to database there are lots of uh, other other options are available like MySQL, MongoDB, Postgres, uh, SQLite, uh, MariaDB, Elasticsearch, memory database and lot, lot. But if you take a look into the overall popularity then PostgreSQL is way ahead then there is a MySQL. So I mean, uh, in all my videos, everywhere I'm using PostgreSQL since the beginning. So that's a good news for me. Uh, MySQL is also kind of a same competitor. But if you talk about the other databases, DynamoDB is a managed. So that is still fine. Oracle is still there. But like a DB2, H2, Cosmos DB, they are like cloud specific databases and their usage is limited. So overall, you can stick to PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQLite. There are lots of other databases, but their uses is very specific to the particular use case like Cassandra, Neo4j, IBM DB2, Snowflake, Cosmos DB, Superbase, and Microsoft Access. Coming to the cloud platform, AWS is still the king. It is still uh, is a major stakeholder when it, it is coming to the cloud service provider. I heard that Azure is also getting popularity and, and it, its uses has been increased 2% uh, I guess from the last year. I mean it's getting popularity among startups and all but uh, still AWS is the king for the cloud vendor I mean cloud service provider and maybe for a couple of more years AWS will dominate but I think Azure and GCP is also picking up their pace and people are adopting it. There are other providers also like Heroku, Netlify, DigitalOcean, but their uses is limited. Like I use to deploy my web app on Netlify, sometimes Heroku and Vercel, but we are not using them as a same as AWS. Just for a small purpose we are using. So if you are into the AWS domain, keep using it, keep improving your knowledge stack in AWS. 
web framework and technologies most important aspect for me right which framework what which technology is evolving which is getting popular among developers so node.js is a king there it with the highest recorded usage of 51 percent now if you take a look on to the overall react is at 41 percent for professional developers node.js is still 40 percent and uh, this is jquery i am surprised but still there, there are legacy things which are still using jquery under the hood angular.net core next CS express and Vue.js is getting popularity and they will cross all these uh, top three like jquery angular esp.net core uh, very soon so the overall picture is if you are sticking to the react node.js next js uh, Vue.js, then that's uh, good news for you because they are still in the top domain and people are using is using it people are adopting it and people are building products uh, based on that this is overall tool stack like which tool is getting popular and docker npm kubernetes wit make maven gradle because this is combining all different uh, programming languages and all but still docker and npm is uh, mostly used and uh, after that webpack wit which is actually a build tool for javascript that is getting pop popular same as webpack i want to make it a good progress because now it is being used everywhere for javascript developers so the take a takeaway is you should be good at npm pnpm yarn uh with webpack all these build tools for javascript and you must know docker how it works how can you create a containers on the local system or how you can deploy your applications on the, the docker containers using ecs kubernetes container ports and all now finally the interesting survey is what the, what type of developers are popular okay there is a full stack back end student front end mobile uh, native developers data engineer ai ml which one is getting more and more popularity and full stack developers are still dominating the industry and being a full stack developer in javascript domain is a plus point because you are using javascript typescript at the client side and server side and that's a good for indian developers also try to become a full stack developer i mean you cannot focus on both the things together but there is a chance that you must know the front end framework some of them and what are the the back end stack and back end technologies if you are able to build an apis in javascript typescript you should also be able to write the components when needed in the front end now this is the overall survey like what are the popular tools what are the synchronous tools and uh, how you can look at the survey what are the web framework and technologies swell.js is still something which people wants to keep working on i mean also i'm also a big fan of swell.js and swellkit and i will keep using it so the overall takeaway is keep learning keep building javascript has a huge ecosystem and providing lots of good opportunities for indian developers